Meanwhile, a man from our region leaving on Saturday for the Ukrainian border with an organization called Magicians Without Borders. NBC 5's John Hawks has more on their mission. Okay, one, two, three, like that. Tom Verner. Let me see what it says in here about what I should do about this situation here. Let's see. Former Burlington College professor and now full-time magician. One, two, <laughs> Janet Fredericks, full-time artist, and in on the magic. The couple lives in Lincoln, Vermont, and started a nonprofit called Magicians Without Borders. On a trip to Europe, Tom discovered the power of doing magic abroad. We go around the world performing in refugee camps where people have really lost hope. I mean, most people in refugee camps we go to have been there 10, 15, 20 years. You know? So the magic... They see the impossible happening in front of them, and they can awaken hope. After that trip, he was hooked. Over the course of its 20-year history, Magicians Without Borders has performed in over 40 countries for more than a million people, eventually incorporating his wife. Eventually, I worked myself into the act. <laughs> so Tom and I uh, actually have uh, a, a routine that we do together. <laughs> Tom is headed to the Polish-Ukrainian border to perform for refugee children, the first trip since the start of the pandemic. I'm convinced that laughter heals. And there's a lot of giggling and laughter that goes on in our shows. In an Afghan refugee camp, a man told Tom that the big organizations do such a good job with getting them food, clothing, and medicine, but they were the only entertainers to ever come through the camp. He said, but today, you fed the minds and imaginations of those children, and they will be talking about this show for months and months. Part of what they do is educate future magicians to teach real-world skills for after they leave. We're really teaching them self-confidence, discipline, focus, self-esteem, so that they become empowered. The places they visited can be really emotionally challenging but they know that this is their way of helping out with overwhelmingly big problems. And sometimes I wonder, you know, if it does make a difference, but when I'm there, I feel it, I feel the children, and we've, we've performed for thousands and thousands of, of kids. In Lincoln, John Hawks, NBC5 News.